Hiya loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm back here, ready to do the colour purple today. Uh, I'm not going to do a big intro today, I'm just going to get right into it, but before I carry on I'm going to say excuse the hat and the wig cap. My hair is not playing ball today, she did not come to slay. So yeah, if you want to see me go into something purple, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've kept the wig cap on, took the cap off, the actual cap that's gone, she gone, glued down my brows and I'm ready to kind of go in. What I'm going to do first is go in with my base foundation shade as well as my highlights as normal. I'm not going to contour yet because I'm going to try and do a bit of a different face shape today. So first thing, I'm going to kind of prep the skin a little bit. Before I go with primer, I'm going to go in with a product from MAC Cosmetics, and it's called their Strobe Creams. I'm going in with the shade Gold Light. I'm going to basically accent it where I usually would put my highlights, so that when I then go in with my foundations, even though it's going to be full coverage foundation, it's still, it's still going to have elements of dewiness in there as well. That's too much. Yes, and now to go in with my trusted paint sticks over the top and let's get some base and highlight down. As usual, I've gone in with the Elf Poreless Putty Primer, just kind of on my T-zone where my pores are really heavy. This is great for kind of blurring the skin a little bit. The skin needs to look as flawless as possible. You know the tea. For my foundation, I've gone in with my trusted paint sticks and then I'm going to blend it all together with a sponge. I don't know if you could see, but I have put this on now. I've blended everything together and actually some of the strobe cream from before is still coming through to give me that kind of little mini glow, which is cute and I'm loving. Now using a white pencil, I'm gonna kind of draw on where my outline of my face is gonna go, as I'm gonna try and do quite a framed face and then paint the outside in a different color um, in order to kind of keep everything nice and sculpted, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. So you can kind of see here that I know the lines are a bit rough, but because it's white, a pencil will be able to be blended and buffed, it's fine. I drew some lips on us so I kind of can maybe start forming where all the different parts of the face are going to go. And I'm going to use the white pencil again to start outlining where I want my brows to go. I think I'm going to do them quite high today as well. Okay, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but they are very high up, they're like up here. I kind of want the tips of the brows to touch where the outline of the face is going to go as well. If that makes sense. I'm going to use my contour shade in a paint stick, which is 9W, and I'm going to use a brush, and what that is going to do is going to allow me a bit more control of where I kind of want everything to go before I start blending it. Okay, for my usual contour, which is quite heavy, this is really light. And yes, I did go in with an artist brush, which you can get from any artist shop. Well, not right now, but online you may be able to. Uh, and yeah, so you can see like, I feel really faint everywhere. But the reason is I still want this look to be quite purpley. So I'm going to use a lot of purple shades and tones to use as contours anyway. So I'm going to go with this. Using my white, I'm going to kind of bring it up to where I want my eyebrow to go as well, so I kind of automatically start to create the curve. And now to powder, bitch. Boom. So I've set my face, I'm kind of leaving all the powder on, and with the powder still on, I'm going to go in with my contours. So I'm going to use this old Charles Fox brush, which I got in one of their back sales. It's quite thick, it's nice. And I'm going to go in with, as usual, which I've been doing for the past few videos, my NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And it looks like this. Ooh. 
and I'm going to go in with a mixture of these three. I'm going to leave out this dark one because I want to kind of um, go in with some purples and stuff over the top. So yeah, these three over here. For blush, I'm going to go back in with my Revolution Makeup um, Blush Palette in Hot Spice and I'm going to try and stick to these kind of three darker pinks uh, because that's going to be, make it a lot easier to bring in some more purples into there as well and I'm going to go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill uh, JH04 blush brush and I'm going to stamp it on over pretty much where I put the contours on my cheeks and I'm going to put a little bit more chin here Art. Keep watching. Now using a soft fluffy brush, I'm going to dust off all the rest of that translucent powder. Now I'm going to zoom you in a little bit further so we can focus on the eyes. So I'm going to go back in with an old one, an old palette that I used. I think the first time I used it was the yellow look that I did, which is the Alexis Stone Instinct palette. And using a quite a thin pencil style brush, uh, this one has been used already for reds and purples, but I'm going to go back in with it. I'm going to dip in and I'm going to arch out where I want my new crease to be. Now I've arched that out, I'm going to go with a fluffy brush and use the same colours and buff it out again. Let's keep working our way down. So I've used the top two shades of purple. I'm now gonna go with the third shade and just kind of pack that on as close to the lash line as possible and buff out again. Now to start tying some stuff in together. I'm gonna to bring the lighter shades of purple into my contour really slightly with a small soft fluffy brush. Coral tones here, purpley tones here, yes. And I'm gonna keep building up slowly more dark towards the outside of the contour and build buffing up. Then you're going to look a little something like this. All the shadows that I used on the top, I'm now going to use on the bottom. But I'm going to kind of stick it in the centre as possible and kind of dribble down as if it's paint. That way I'm going to slowly start to add some glitter on a bit later and hopefully it looks like I'm going to be crying glitter. Now brows, bitch. I'm actually going to go in with a purple lip stain. Um, and what that's going to do is just going to allow me to kind of have a bit more precision with an angle brush to kind of draw in the angle of the fine line of the eyebrows uh, rather than me just trying to pack on a shadow straight away and it might go a bit topsy turvy. So I'm going to do that first and then go over it with some eyeshadows, ombreing it out with the darker shade purple in the outer corner, blending into the centre. So, yes. So I've kind of added a few purples and pinks in different areas. Again, it looks really crazy at the moment, but once I keep blending in and once I outline the face and put in some harsh contours and stuff like that with some line work, it will look better, I promise. So I'm actually gonna go in with a small fluffy brush now from Morphe. This is the Morphe M506 in a in like a black shade from the Alexis Stone palette. And I'm gonna use that to kind of deepen out where 
the outline of the creases and also the corners of the bottom lash line. Sorry as well if you just keep seeing this little bit of red. Uh, the Alexis Stone palette has a huge mirror in it so I'm using that as a real close up to make sure that I've got everything right. So initially I wanted this look to be quite fantastical, almost very pixie-like. I feel like this has gone like full old school drag at the moment with the way my eye shape is and the brows. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and slowly outline the outside of where all of my face is starting to look and contour, if you can see here. I just really want to hone in and see what my face is actually going to look like before I can then start playing around with even more kind of colours and textures on the skin tones. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that first. What I'm going to do is going to go in with a water activated paint in this gorgeous kind of like lilac y colour, and then hopefully that will kind of give me a bit of more of an idea. But yeah, so I'm going to do that first. Boom, boom. I decided to leave the forehead area because I quite like how it just goes to the natural face tone shades rather than this alien-esque purple. What I'm going to do is go in with my MAC Smolder and I'm going to kind of try and smoke out a little bit of the lower lash line and in my waterline a little bit before the next stage, which I think I'm going to do is figure out these eye droplets and see if I can make those kind of work. I love the eyes, the eyes are looking absolutely fierce. So I'm going to be using a mixture of glitters today from kind of pearlescent uh, with lavender-esque flecks uh, to a couple of purples, a bit of rose and I'm going to drip them down slowly but surely and add more of the dense, intense opaque colours towards the lash line. Yes, and in order to stick them down, I'm just using a bit of kind of water-based glue. It's absolutely fine, similar to the one that I added when I stood on my tape last week. So, yes, let's do this. Now the look is almost complete. I'm going to go back in with the same kind of water-based paint that I used to put on my liner and a really tiny square flat brush and I'm going to outline the edge of the face and slowly start to make it more of this as if it's like an artist painting. A few flecks of this, a few flecks of that. Then I'm going to pop the wig on and then I'll be back with the final look. So let's do this.
Okay guys, so here's the final look. I've gone for this kind of, well started out as a fantastical pixie, transformed into this kind of arty, sketchy-esque kind of look. I always do these kind of looks whenever I'm in this wig as well, so it must be this wig, Fortune of the Wig. This also concludes my Colors of Drag series. So this is the last color of rainbow, uh, purple, which is fabulous. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to continue to do kind of like a color series of sorts. I've had so much fun, it's been really fun exploring it, different ways of showing different techniques, different products, yes. And if you like this and you want some more videos, then click like, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, of course, of course, of course. I'm also gonna link my Instagram down below again. Thank you for the new followers. Hello, hello, how are you? And yeah, I'll see you next time for what will be, who knows what it'll be. See you then, guys. Bye. Mwah.